<laughs> oh no! Um, yeah. You got it! Got it, boy! Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. Yahoo and the like. Oh, and then you died. Okay, that's it what you said. Yahoo, I guess baby. Oh, oh, yeah. Got a boyfriend, I guess he paid. <laughs> Kiss ya. Kiss ya. Wow. Uh, Silverwinter, to answer your question, to answer your question about- WHAT?! About your what? About what? No, I was- I was doing one of those mini games, and as soon as I hit the B with the chest, all of a sudden, Diddy takes a hit. Like, what?! I think Diddy's it's- It's like, conquest. it looks- from my from my perspective what? on the stream, it now looks he just like walked away so from bad. it. What the hell? Get up there and get the fucking coin, bro. <laughs> Wait, did you collect it or not? Oh, you got. I... Hey, what? Fuck. Mm. What? what? Mm. Uh, now he just walked away I again. No idea. It's so weird that to Russell. hear. That rustles my Jimmy's. That, that rustles. Okay, Dude. so maybe you're, if you're holding another chest, it doesn't work. <laughs> So, like, if you Maybe? get the coin and then pick up another chest, the game just like, <laughs> do you know what would be funnier? <laughs> if, you, if you just stand Watch there like a fucking here. moron and fucking leap. And he took a hit. Bitch. Alright, fuck it. So At this oh, point, so I mean, weird. you're not 100% in this game, right? I mean, are you 100% in the game or not? Oh, uh, fuck no. After my experience with Donkey Kong 64, um... I don't trust trying to 100% everything, because we're going to be here for fucking years. Hey, hey Golden. So and Golden. What? Yeah. What do you think of the beetle? I'm going to fucking kick you out of the call, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is referencing. Okay, I am Ro okay Robin. Scared. Okay, Robin, I'm going to I'm gonna spell it out for you. The racing beetle was this... Cheating son of a bitch that you play CD, uh, oh, Tiny Kong, please. and you had to race him down these long slopes. And the catch is, is that after you, while you're trying to beat him, you're not supposed to hit him so many times, and you're supposed to collect a certain amount of points. That sounds really oh. fucking stupid. And that what's sounds... worse, he'll hit you a lot of times, but if you hit him, you're disqualified. And yeah. he is extremely competitive. So, you're against all odds. Oh my god, someone actually came up with a worse mechanic than rubber banding in racing games. Yeah, yeah this oh is what god. I mean when I said that Donkey Kong 64 and Mario Party 2 broke me as a gamer when I was a kid. Yeah. Understandable. So, Fuck, uh, dude. So, uh, somebody's talking about 100%ing stuff, and uh, this is, I guess, a tease for some stuff that's not happening for a while, but Geeky Steve and I are currently planning a charity stream where he's gonna 106% Crash Bandicoot 4. It's gonna be like multiple streams because we're not fucking trying that in one stream because that sounds horrible. Uh, Please. But have you seen the speed run for yes. 106? Speed the run for what? Time, the speed run to 106% Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, is the fastest time is 21 hours God. without loading screens. Please. You know what? That does sound a bit legitimate in terms of what the fuck is this? Oh, it's like the Starman. Cool. I'm an unstoppable <laughs> force of nature. <laughs> but yeah, so we also, are we're not gonna do it in one sitting because that sounds ridiculous. Impossible. Yeah, but I'm gonna. The idea is he's gonna be going from zero to 106, and I'm going to be going from whenever I get the game, whatever percent I'm at when we start streaming to 100% because I figured I should torture myself as well because I'm very bad at video games. I got five now. I don't know how many I need in order to save the game. People keep saying that I need to get these coins in order to save my progress. That'd be really annoying. So yeah, uh, not starting the game. We're not going to be doing that in the <laughs> summer, but... Uh, that's some batshit insane. Fucking Diddy Kong! Diddy Kong just goes like a fucking DJ with a beatbox. <laughs> oh my god, I love that animation. <laughs> oh, he's so a good boy. DJ. Donkey Kong. DJ. And Donkey there's Chunky. He's dead. Hello, dearies. I am Mrs. Wrinkly Kong, head, um, head <clears throat> mistress Wrinkly? here at. Yeah, Kong. Wrinkly. College. Uh. Oh, college. <laughs> Kong, college? What the fuck? What kind of more combat nonsense is this? Is that like, like 
Mortal, Mortal Harbor for monkeys? Oh. Mortal Kombat. Okay, so apparently I just no, saved the game. Ew, disgusting. Oh, ew. now it. Okay, so it t it costs two coins in order to um. Oh, they call Save it a college that. with a fucking K. That's why I were laughing about it. <laughs> <laughs> Leave college. Oh, shit. That, hey, you heard of dropping out? Nah, nah, nah. Leave college with a K. Leave oh, college. Like... So good. Any, anyone remember? Anyone remember that fucking tiny bullshit? Bring and pay for my Kool-Aid. Okay, so. <laughs> Eat the barrel, fucker. Yeah. Okay. You know, of, of all these Riley's stages, the I never found all the letters yet. Okay, let's switch turns. You found I love that one. she. I first love that she just. I love that she just kicks Diddy in the ass. Like, pff, get out of the way, fucker. My turn. You know, honestly mm. though, like this game is fucking beautiful. In well, a like, way, this yeah. Nineteen ninety-three, I think, is when Five. the game comes out. Mm. Ninety-five. Five. When this yeah. game comes <laughs> out. It came, it came out of- Yeah, well, it came, it, we're, we're time travelers. Dude, if I- uh, Yeah, it came out in 95, and like, on the fucking Super Nintendo, and it still looks fucking gorgeous. I mean, with a game Dude, like if I, that- if I was a fucking- yeah. If I was a fucking time traveler, I'd be just terrified of everything. Why would you be terrified of everything? Because if- Because if you go back in time, fucking- You could do the tiniest of things, and you could return to a world where everything's just fucked. Oh, just like that one okay. story where that one guy was sent back to prehistoric time, and was told not to do anything, and he stepped on something or a bug, and it changed, uh, time periods yeah, dramatically. Yeah, butterfly effect. Yeah, it's base butterfly is like- effect. It was quite literally a butterfly that he stepped on. The, the premise is, for anyone who doesn't know the movie Golden's talking about, people can- or hunters, avid hunters, can go through a time machine to hunt dinosaurs. The most yep. fearsome historical prey in history yep. for sport. You can't take yeah. their bodies, you can only hunt dinosaurs shit, who shit, are shit. destined to die anyway, and yep. you mustn't stray from the technologically advanced hovering God path. God damn it. Because doing anything that affects anything beyond what's already doomed to die will fuck up the timeline. And the guy, after seeing a T-Rex, lost his nerve and stepped off the path and stepped on a butterfly. And then when they return to the present day, everything's jumbled up, including text, and apparently they live in a society without elections, which is probably a dictatorship. Yeah, and the guy, live in a society. And the we guy live who changed, in a society. And the guy who changed the timeline got killed at the end. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Like, yeah. forget the, like the people who the people who take you in the time machine to hunt the dinosaur are like don't fuck it up and he fucked it up and then the guy just takes that God gun damn it. without saying a damn thing after they inspect his boot and the dead butterfly falls off and the other guy point like takes out a gun and shoots him and it's just uh, that's what scares me. <laughs> yeah, it's like very it's like very specifically how little you need to do to cock it up. And how much needs to be done to uncock it up in the event of you cocking it up? Even ignoring like that kind of time travel, where it's you know, you know, the if you do anything to the past, it'll negatively affect the future. Like, could you imagine how smelly the past is? Like, I mean, if you want to go yeah. somewhere, if you want to go somewhere like anywhere in the past, it probably smells really bad. Like, the further back That's you go, fucking concern. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay, for okay for starters, have you ever been to the woods? Yes, I have. Have you ever have you ever been to like a desert? No, oh, I've never been to a desert. Fucker. It's like, it's like how many different like geographic biomes of the world have you seen? A couple. A couple. So many. like you know, not many, not many, not many not varied many. ones. Yeah. I imagine that if you went in back in time to prehistoric times full of rainforests and shit, you know, what I think it would smell like. Rainforest? Yeah, rain, rainforest. I was thinking I was thinking more like so like say you wanted to go back in time and watch uh the fucking Declaration of Independence get signed. That's just a room full of dudes who don't shower. Oh my like, god. That sounds terrible. Well, yes, but that's overly yeah. speci that's too overly specific. If we're talking about different time periods for that sense, if you go back to the industrial age, it probably would smell like death and black lung. 
And if you go back to the prehistoric times, it'll probably smell like a metric fuckton of nature and dinosaur things, and maybe yeah. just dinosaurs in general. But it's like, yeah. you know... I mean, something, it's a it's like concern some, I have about time like, travel is that it would smell like shit. It's like, but it's like something uber-specific, like a room full of fucking... Old That's always the one I think that. about. Is the one it's I always think like, about is like imagine going back and going to see the Declaration of Independence get signed and it just smells like shit. <laughs> it's just like, so, yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry, but there's like that Whoa. Me for a loop. It's, it's what like your the hell? Concern is um, biggest concern. It's a big concern. I um, think. Okay, it's like one of your biggest concerns, guys. Just, yeah. I, wow, I, what I the it. fuck? <laughs> When did Ka from the what? Jungle Book show up? Oh God, a better, the, the better question is, when the fuck was a fucking snake a type of creature that could just do anything but, like, just fucking spring it's like this? Pogo, it's a pogo snake! A pogo it's snake! They turned they turn Tigger into a snake. Yeah! It's, 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 this is a mesh between Tigger and Ka, except much Wait, happier and friendlier. It? It's Tikha. 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 T I. Um, it even has it even has stripes on its body. Look. T I K double A. That spells Tikha. Like, did, did you notice the stripes? Like the snake actually has stripes on its body. It's yeah, I know that. It's, <laughs> a, it's a tiger snake. And the funny thing is, this those two are actually my two favorite characters. Awesome. <laughs> So basically, Jesse, this is your fan fiction fantasy. This is what would happen if they made it. <laughs> okay, yeah, tell me like, I'm fucking wrong. It's like if we brought this into the realm of fan fiction, we'd then have to try and figure out where a fusion between Card and Tigger came from, and there's only one option, and I really because don't they like fucked. it. Rule thirty-four. Oh my yeah. god, we you had to go there. Of course I, mean, I had. Of course I had to go. Were, you were fucking of I had, beating I, us. <laughs> of course I had to go there. It was getting too wholesome. That's not. On, it's like that's not on brand for Golden Fox players. We have to tear it down somehow. So yeah, basically, you're just plays. you're basically just following the same type of logic that fucking Riley would do. Hey. Mister hey. Mister hey. Rub Oil under Fox so it shines. I haven't forgotten that asshole. <laughs> oh my god, that was so, that was legendary. Don't lie to me. Oh, I was pissed. <laughs> I was so pissed. I was making a pure moment that explains where my fucking username came from, and he comes in to fuck it all up. I was so pissed. That was beautiful. Also, that was a legendary quote. quote. Yeah, I know you were there, Jesse. You were able to guess it better, and then he comes in. So you like to rub oil in your fuck so it shines? Fuck so it shines? Yes! <laughs> But yeah, no, fucking, yes. on the topic of, like, on the topic of Tigger, I actually just thought of something just now. So, like, you know the premise of, I think it was one of their movies, where, like, Tigger's trying to find other Tiggers like him? The Tigger yeah. movie? Yeah, it was Tigger like, movie. yeah. Exactly. But the whole thing about it is, like, there's only one of him. Yeah. yeah, and you know that that whole song and catchphrase of his is like fucking. He's the only one. He's the only Tigger. Isn't that true for every resident Terrible. of the Hundred Acre Wood? I mean, technically I yes, mean... but like it's like the is like the only one who has another like them is Kanga, and that's her son. Well, listen, it's because Genetics. Tigger is the only one who's aware that he's an anomaly of nature. Yeah. But it's genetics, basically. <laughs> everyone else is like everyone else is blissfully unaware of the fact that they are alone in this cruel, cruel universe. Yeah, but doesn't that mean he should be aware that they are the only one of them and should therefore feel less lonely? I mean, he Most wants to likely. believe he wants to have hope, but at the same time, he's the only self-aware one. Also, no. the okay. rest of them are not gain sentience like that. Also, okay, I can never I'm remember the way that... What am I supposed to do here? I can never remember the way the Tigger no movie idea. ended. There was something about... Okay, so I kind of remember this movie, because I, I remember seeing it when I was really little, uh, which was that, like, there's something about, like, Tigger getting almost frozen to death. Like, that's a thing in that... Is it that movie, or is it another one? Excuse where Tigger, okay, like, okay, hold on, hold on. To tell you the truth about the rest of the Pooh movies, I have not seen the Tigger movie, Pooh's Adventures, or the... Uh, oh, finally, I'm up there. Or Very that... True, Christopher. <laughs> Yeah, the search for Chris. I did see the live action Christopher Robin, and I actually loved it. 
I saw oh, it was good. Yeah, I yeah, thought it was good. good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dixie, why did you fly like a cry. helicopter? Come on. Helicopter, hey, helicopter. So, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so okay, I have two things about this because I'm looking for clips of uh of the Tigger movie to talk about what to remember what I'm talking about. So first thing I've noticed, which is not related to the Tigger movie, is that in the related suggested videos for a Tigger for a Tigger movie. There's also a, a B movie clip that's called Unacceptable Behavior, and I just wanted somebody else to know that pun. Um, se second yes. thing about the Tigger movie. The second thing about the Tigger mo movie is that the first suggestion, because this is what I'm thinking of, is that Tigger and Rue get caught in an avalanche, and that's like the ending yeah. of the Tigger movie. Like that's a whole. I I knew I wasn't fucking crazy. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. So I remember, remember this, that? but I kind of remember this. The Tigger what? is like, what? he's getting fucking pissed off that no one else is like understanding the fact that he just wants to find more Tiggers in his life. Uh, so he like goes off into this, into like, he leaves the Hundred Acre Woods and Rue comes with him because Rue's like on, like, Rue's slowly starting to gain her own self awareness, I guess. Wait, uh, given my Rue? new weird. I don't remember. I thought Rue is like, Rue's I a thought... dude! Yeah. I was, always under the impression I, that, I was always under the impression that Kanga was the mother and Rue was the son. Yeah. I don't... Yeah. Let me Google it. I don't fucking know. But I'm just... I, I don't remember this movie other than, like, a couple of random bits and bobs of it. Okay, um, for but, some reason... Oh, also, God. Oh, yeah. God. Move, 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 also, move, why move, does that move, sign, move, Why does that sign say no sperm down there? That say Those... no stink, dude! No sperm? No snake! What the uh, hey, okay, okay. they're, they're, bo all... they're both sw they're both squiggly shapes with bulbous tips. Okay, fucking. I mean, so yeah, but like, I thought that's what it says. Like, I'm not saying, but I, I'm suggesting. Someone's okay. yes. I googled it. Rue is Rue is uh, gendered as male. I don't, I don't fucking okay. know things. I just did you, I haven't seen oh my the Tigger movie. Did... Probably I was like. Maybe oh my god! Did you just gender a character? Hashtag triggered. I'm, I'm. Oh no! Robin is canceled. Not <laughs> oh no! I told you, I told everyone. If, if I'm, I only want to be canceled for one thing, and it's because I don't like Reese's peanut butter cups. You monster! <laughs> I mean, I, I will not be surprised if people cancel me because I've stated multiple times that I don't like Kingdom Hearts. You oh, son of a bitch! Oh, where, Yeah. Oh. The last Kingdom Hearts game wasn't even that good. Who cares? Like, I'm <laughs> happier not understanding Kingdom Hearts than I would be if I understood it and enjoyed it. The last Kingdom Hearts game was a rhythm game.